Hmm. Wow. Howdy, folks. How about a 420 piece rotary tool kit for $28.99? That sounds like a pretty good deal. We gotta see the toolkit. Matter of fact, they sent it over to me. I have it right here. We're gonna take a look at it today and then we're gonna draw. Alrighty. <sighs> well, hi, yeah, we're back. This is a kit. I'm gonna have to give you a close up look at this kit. And as you can see in the picture there, uh, it is, a more complete kit for rotary stuff than, than I realized. Once I got the box open, took a look at what was in here, it was like, well, wait a minute, they've got some cool stuff in here that's, uh, you know, like the, uh, you know, the polishing uh, stuff that's in here. So it's a real tight, small box. I love the box. It does look bigger in the picture, doesn't it? There it is. <laughs> and it's kind of got those fancy uh, locks on it here. But once you open it up, these are all diamond grit and various polishes that you can use for buffing and polishing, small stuff, jewelry, you know, charms, whatever, uh, any kind of, you know, any kind of jewelry like that. That's what it is. Small metal, any small metal items that you want to polish and buff, but look at that kit. That is insane. That is really cool. 420 piece was, huh, boom, you know. Yeah, I don't use uh, Dremel very much. I have one, of course, and I have used it on and off for very small, you know, small projects that you get into. But uh, this kit here for 420 pieces for the lousy $28.99 was like, wow. So when I went to look it up on Amazon, I couldn't find it. I actually had a link supplied to me from the gang over at Depths Tech. Yeah, that's the endoscope camera we just did last week. But they sent me this and said, you know, they just said, here, you know, check it out. I was like, Okay, wow, you know, and when I looked at their link and their price on Amazon, it was like, wow, that's a really good gift. Gift for Christmas, birthday, whatever, or somebody that has rotary stuff that would like to have a nice kit, and it's all nice and contained in a, a really good, this is a really good case. Now, I just took the plastic out because I just want to see something here. That's probably just for packaging. Yeah, okay, nobody's, you know, nothing's falling out. <laughs> the ultimate test, right? You know, but the, uh, this, uh, diamond grit uh, polish they have in these little jars right here. Look at this stuff. You, you pop the lid off and you've got, uh, you know, polishing uh, stuff for your uh, rotary. That's cool. Plus all these different, the different pads and of course the little sanders and what have you. There's also uh, something in here that sort of threw me off because it's a problem I've had forever with the other kit is it has collets in here for your uh, Dremel tool, I guess or maybe it's for theirs, but it, it should fit mine. You know what, we should get mine out and just see if it'll fit it, right? Okay, so the reason I wanna check all this is there's a set of collets and a wrench in here for your Dremel tool, or is it? Well, I think it is, but this is my Dremel, this is my Dremel tool. Yeah, it's old. <laughs> it's, it's an old corded model, probably from the uh, 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's been around for a while. Anyways, uh, I'll put the stop on it here, get the uh, collar off, and then we'll see if we can get the collet out. The collet, uh, I only have the one size. I've lost the rest of them over the years, so a kit like this, with keeping everything in the case and real tight, would have been really nice. Yeah, so anyways, we got one of these collets out. So we'll pop this one out of the box, and yep. Oh man, yeah, that's a good fit. And of course, this comes down on top, like that, to lock it in. And this will allow me to use all the different shaft sizes that are in this kit. And there's a wrench to tighten up this, uh, the collar here. So, wow. Uh, the other thing I need to show you, get these collets back together so I don't lose them. <laughs> yeah, that would never happen. Yeah, and uh, let's see. There's diamond grit polish here, but also in some of these little, uh, look like little jam jars or whatever we're gonna call them, uh, there's also cutoff wheels. So you have sets of, or let's just get one out there like that, little sets of little cutoff wheels for Dremel. So this is a nice, just an awesome, for this price. I was like, wow, I don't even know how somebody can make it for that price these days. It's only, what, a couple gallons of gas right now? <laughs> 
And if you're a millennial, yeah, uh, Dremel used to come with a, a cord that you'd plug in and eh, never mind. But <clears throat> the there's sandpaper, polishing discs, grinding discs, grinding wheels, plus all this other good stuff. So I just have to say to Depth Tech that this is a really nice kit for you. For the lousy $28.99. Wow. It's on sale. I'm going to provide you a link in the description below that was supplied to me from Depths Tech so you can find this if you're interested because it's a good Christmas gift or birthday gift, whatever, or anytime. You know, anytime somebody has uh, incomplete uh, <laughs> Dremel like me, <laughs> the, they can fix it with what's in that kit. <laughs> so we got a draw. Let's get to the draw. We're going to give away a camera today and we're going to start another draw for next Thursday with a wood tool. Everybody, pretty much. If you watch the channel week to week, you'll know because probably have a good idea of what's coming up next. But uh, yeah, let's do the draw and see who's getting the uh, time lapse camera from, uh, I believe it's Minton Beagle, uh, the Beagle camera that does 3D printing, you know, keeps an eye on it. Yep. We're going to get on that right now and draw. Yeah. Quick like a bunny rabbit, yeah. Okay, we've got, what are we drawing for? Well, we're drawing for the, there it is, the Beagle camera. It's a time-lapse photography control system package, kind of like a Pi, uh, where you can monitor your 3D printer off your phone while you're out there at the restaurant having pizza. Yes. <laughs> the, it seems like it's a really nice unit. Anyway, we're giving it away. So, I might try to see if I can find you a link for this too, to where you can find these. Also, I'm throwing in this uh, USB plug, which is brand new. It will help you to get connected with this to the printer. So actually sort of, I guess, two items today that are given away. So let's get the tickets going. There's uh, surprisingly, I was a little concerned because it is sort of a specialized item. So I wasn't sure how many people would put their names in. That was quite a few, yeah, about a hundred. <laughs> Not too, not too bad. Really don't look like much, but there's there's a hundred names and addresses in there, so we'll mix it all up and we'll get this out of here, and then we'll move on to the next item. Yeah, yeah, for next Thursday, and uh, also working on a grand prize for next month. I guess what was that? January 2023. Wow, what happened to this year? Oh, it sure went by fast, didn't it? Oof. Okay, I've got a ticket. There we go, and let's see who's. A blank. No, it isn't a blank. Okay, uh, Tom. Oh, wow. It's funny. I saw this uh, address. I didn't notice the name at all, but I saw the address coming across when I was looking at the tickets being made. And uh, Tom, you're in Prague, Oklahoma. Okay, Tom. Hey, congratulations, and thank you for entering, of course. And we'll get this out to you uh, as early as uh, Monday. We'll be sending that off. It'll be slow because it's Christmas. Everybody's packages are moving through mail right now. <laughs> Probably UPS or FedEx or mail or whatever, and DHL. <clears throat> Don't forget the DHL. Tom, congratulations. We will get this out to you to Prague, Oklahoma. And see, the name Prague was what caught me. I was thinking of the... Uh, Overseas uh, city, Prague, you know, so wow, cool. Let's get this out of the way and let's uh, set up for the next draw. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to line up for the next tool for Thursday and it's a woodworking tool, so it's a cool item, you yeah. uh, know. Not everybody's into 3D printing just yet. You should be, but, <laughs> but you're not. And I wanna thank everyone that did enter the, this for this past draw. There was lots, you know, 100 entries. I was like, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Now, meantime, Next Thursday, we're giving this away. This is the tool we just reviewed. I believe it was on Monday for the new companies. This onboard sponsor with us is called Vivor. Yeah, Vivor. And this is their pocket joint kit. A great price. I'll give you a link in the description below for where you can find this kit again. But in the meantime, uh, we're giving this one away to a viewer. And so how do you get in on it? Well, you just all you gotta do is send an email over to ctrewards at gmx.com. I'll just put that over my head or something. And uh, let's see, subject line in the email will be jig, J-I-G. And uh, just in the body of the letter, just your name and address, just print it out so we can send it to you. I did notice one fella had his in there that didn't have a zip code with it. And that's okay, your ticket didn't come up, so I was gonna have to look up his zip code or something. But yeah, that's one item, uh, one entry per household. Did I mention that? Open to anybody, 
you know, and uh, we'll pull tickets and see who gets the pocket joint kit from Vibor. Wow, and it's a nice kit. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, other thing that happened this week, uh, we had an email come in, uh, I think it was in the last couple days, and it was was concerning a little bit because uh, the fellow has, has got himself a really awesome 3D printer uh, coming in. I'm not sure how he made the purchase, but he purchased the LK5 Pro and he had some questions. And some of them were kind of concerning because it's like, he's new. And I have to sometimes go back and go, you know, when you are new to 3D printing, it looks very different. You know, nowadays I run to the computer, I draw something up, I throw it in my slicer, put it, the card over to the printer, and bang, you know, I make a part. Uh, this past week, again, 3D printer, I had uh, a failure. I've got a little train set, HO train, that I run around the Christmas village with the tree and stuff on display in the living room, and it was like the coupler between the two cars came apart that's between the steam engine and the coal car, and it's a specialized little coupler. It's not like the rest of an HO train set, so because it was plastic and it had totally crumbled apart it was like well we'll drop a new one go to the 3d printer make the parts we need which i did the train is back together and, and actually running and tested on the track and everything i was like yeah so uh 3d printer is just absolutely wow didn't have to go shopping didn't have to look through the internet or anything just went to the uh drafting or the cad program fusion 360 drew up the pieces i needed plunked it into the printer made the part put it on the train and it was like good to go. Man, I, I just love that. But we might have to do a show, depending on the tools situation, because I've got tools coming in. Monday, we might try to do something, uh, talk a little bit more about you to me, about the basics of 3D printing and some of the things that you know we should know or we, we're gonna have to learn if we're gonna do it. And I think it might help some people out there and hopefully it'll have, help uh, Michael out as well because he wants to run TPU on an LK5 Pro, which I don't recommend. It, you, it can do it, but it's tricky. It's just a tricky one because the uh, TPU is a very soft, very flexible rubber, you know, kind of uh, filament. It's not like PLA or one of the other ones like the PET-G, uh, what else we got out there? ABS, uh, ASA, uh, wood filament, carbon fibers, all those other fancy ones. And I really like PLA Plus for most of my plastic projects, but that's, you know, that's just me. Anyways, hey, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Coffee and Tools. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and uh, yeah, we'll be drawing next week for Pocket Joint Kit. Cool. Meantime, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out. <laughs>